So mini update on the Chadamo to um, CCS2 or the other way around, CCS2 to Chadamo charger adapter. Um, went for its second test today. The first time I tested it, it was at Sale Water Park, Kempower BEV chargers. And not a problem, chap there authenticated it for me. Um, so they were on board. He said, come along to um, a event in a fortnight's time, which was today, which was at Stockport's Decathlon um, chargers. And I turned up there with the van, the EMV 200. I tried to use the adapter. I authenticated with my Electroverse card because my BEV card was um, the old one and it was no longer valid. Anyway, as soon as I authenticated, the whole charge bank went down. So this is like 16 charge points in eight, over eight, by, eight bays, something like that. And I just thought I've broken hundreds of thousands of pounds of equipment with a Chinese adapter. And I was like, <gasps> but turns out, um, after they got the electrician there, that this was just a software set of the amp rating, which was half the amount it should have been, and an oversight on the engineer's part. Um, so this was on their big, you know, opening day, and they said they struggled to get that many 150 kilowatt capable um, cars to uh, charge uh, at a given time before the open day, because clearly people... Um, will turn up on a Sunday if you give them a half price charge and that's what has happened but it was absolute co coincidence that I've authenticated uh, I've been the last car to tip it over that amp rating um, in the software for the halfway point which it should have been doubled so for about an hour or an hour and a half I'm there believing that the adapter I've been using is at fault um, and it wasn't it just it, the adapter worked fine um, there is a problem with the adapter, but it's kind of a minor one, and I'll explain that. Um, so consequently, I then when they got the charges all back online an hour later, when they had an electrician turn up and flip the breaker, I charged on Chadamo first, and then I said to them, uh, I'm happy to use the adapter again, but only when you guys are happy for me to use it. I don't want to make it if it is my van with this adapter, I don't want to that to be the cause of your open day being ruined. I already feel like I've kind of done that. Um, but they were really sound about it. They were so unfazed by the fact that they all they they didn't seem phased by the fact that all their chargers had gone down for like an hour and a half, whatever it was. They were amazing. Customer service there was really on point today. Anyway, charger wasn't really at fault, or rather the adapter wasn't at fault. The chargers went down. We all waited, we got free coffee, someone vehicle to loaded the coffee machine because it was running off the same power bank, which is kind of amusing. Um, and we got coffee, got popcorn, got a little shortbread with the BV logo, uh, logo on. They even took our emails and said, we'll give you a free charge for the inconvenience today, which I felt rather cheeky at the time of taking because my van might have been the problem, which it wasn't. But that's something I did learn because I spoke to the chap who's the community liaison guy afterwards, who was showing me the... Kempower back end because I kind of wanted to know what the guys in the office see regarding uh, if you plug an adapter in, can they identify it? Like, what is it a MAC address? Is it some how how does it show? Can they tell you what tell it what the car is? Coincidentally, um, I spoke to the other guy who was uh, from the people who commissioned the system. And they had the same back office system. And he said, when I plugged the Chadamo in, it actually comes as a leaf, not as a van, which obviously is because it's just a leaf uh, in van clothing. But it's funny that they don't differentiate. Anyway, getting back to this other problem that is uh, an issue with the adapter, but it's a minor one. And I have reported it back to Electway to make sure that if they can fix it, they do which is that it will throw some DTCs, um, some error codes in uh, your CAN bus. And these don't really show up because clearly the, when I used it in sale a fortnight ago on the same type of machines, same chargers, it did the charge, it put in about four kilowatt hours and it disconnected and it didn't say anything on the dash to say you've got a problem. But when you go into LeafSpy and you check, there will be some error codes 
and you just have to read them and clear twice because it's on sort of two modules but it's um but it's fine it, your car will charge again afterwards uh, it doesn't it's just i think a bit of a false positive or something like it's it's not a real issue but it is frustrating and i don't know if because when I authenticated, I would have had that latent error in the system on my li my van, and then the Chadamo uh, the adapter <coughs> might have caused a minor surge because it had a Chadamo port that had a DTC on it. So you can kind of imagine the adapter is talking to the charge unit, saying this car is great, this car is great, this car is great, and then it talks to the car and the car goes no I'm not great I'm not great at all and stops straight away and I wonder because I'm not yet to redo my time today but I wonder had I known about this error that Electway adapters had where they leave DTCs that you have to clear after every rapid charge if I didn't have um, a fault on the van before I'd started a charge today would I have caused a surge that would have tipped it over the halfway point? Um, later when I had cleared the errors that I'd found, because it sort of occurred to me, what if the car's got a fault because of what just happened today? Um, it charged fine and it did what it did at sale. In fact, it did better than it did at sale because I had an emptier battery and I could um, charge for longer which was the point of going to this open day today I had 22% when he arrived I wanted to uh, leave with 80% I wanted to validate why I was buying this adapter to make sure that I don't get stuck anywhere in future um, long distance journeys but yeah anyway that's the update um, on the Electway adapter I've told Penny from um, their sales team who hopefully will feed that back to their engineers and hopefully they'll test this out I don't know if they will have chem power units in China to test with um, and I've got no mechanism to collect logs from my van at the moment to send back to them but maybe they'll facilitate that somehow in the future but um, it's it's good enough for now you know I can clear their faults with my phone when I'm out and about if I know to do it and today is just teething problems although I could have done without the stress of taking down a whole fairly major rapid hub in the middle of Stockport on its opening day that was yeah worrisome anyway thanks for watching um, and please subscribe if you want to hear any more shenanigans uh, to do with CCS and Tadamo and Nissan Leafs slash fans and uh, yeah see you again soon